Hey everybody, Specialist Eric Dowler here with the 246 Army Band. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the audition process for getting into the National Guard Band and Army Bands in general. The Army has what's known as the AMPA, the Army Musician Proficiency Assessment, which is a rubric-based assessment which measures your proficiency as a musician. It's pretty self-explanatory. So I'll explain a little bit of how it works, how you can prepare for it, and how you can schedule it. Um, this is a pretty easy thing to schedule um, with the 246 band in particular. I'm the recruiting liaison and it's pretty flexible. Usually we like to hook you up with the recruiter near you, so go ahead and contact your recruiter and um, they'll drive you over here to McIntyre Air Base, which is where we're stationed, and we'll do an audition that way. During this little virus situation, we're doing video auditions, but typically we like to see you in person, give you a tour around the facility, and you know, face to face is really nice. So anyway, we audition for the typical band instruments. Brass, woodwinds, rhythm, uh, it's percussion, keyboard, guitar, electric bass, voice, and production technician. Um, we do not take violins, violas, cellos, like I said, we take bass, but you've got to be able to do like the, the electric bass type things, not the Tchaikovsky bass type things. So anyway, that being said, the audition consists of two parts, prepared music and quickly prepared music. Prepared music for wind instrumentalists is pretty much all the same. Um, you've got to bring in at least three pieces of contrasting variety no more than five minutes. So, you know, have maybe like a technical thing, a lyrical thing, and then like a jazz thing, or maybe like a, a rock and roll lick and a concerto piece and like an orchestral excerpt or something. Um, you don't have to limit it to three. You can have as many things as you want as long as it doesn't exceed five minutes. So if you want to have five one minute excerpts, that's great. Um, that would work. We like to see a variety of of genres here. Uh, jazz, funk, solo, concerto, orchestral band, chamber, um, anything that you can demonstrate that you have skills on, we like to see it because of the variety of missions that we do. We need people that have capabilities in a wide variety of uh, music styles. For rhythm instrumentalists, it's a little different. Um, there's backing tracks involved, like pianists, have four pieces, one of them has to be solo, and the others have backing tracks. Um, same thing with guitarists and, and bassists. Vocalists basically have to sing three to six selections with like a karaoke style, and then drummers, again, have backing tracks that they have to play with. So it's similar, but it's a, it's a different thing because of the, the backing track. So anyway, prepare music's up to you. I can give you a list of preferred things that you can prepare, and before we actually do an audition, we'll double check to make sure that you're not bringing anything that's going to mess you up or anything. Um, but, yeah, it's pretty simple. You can just prepare stuff, bring it in, play it. That's all we want to do is just hear it. Quickly prepared is the second section, and that, 24 hours before your audition, the day before, we're going to send you a packet of music to prepare, quickly. Um, this replicates you know, usually on a gig, I don't. maybe I'm in the wrong gig scene, I don't see people just sitting music down in front of me and say, hey, play this. Maybe that happens. I haven't experienced it. Usually it's like, hey, we have a day or two to do this, let's pull this together real quick and then we'll make it happen. This is what this quickly prepared simulates, is that you have a day to prepare something, so you can go listen to it, practice it, make sure it's under your fingers, and then come in and bring that in. So how well can you read? How well can you... Um, study a style and adapt. Wind instruments will receive six excerpts. They're not super long, they're not super challenging, but they're enough to let us know whether or not you can play and whether or not you're confident enough in what you can do. Um, there's going to be a concert band piece, chamber ensemble piece, two marches, a swing thing, and a commercial thing. So, it's pretty simple. It doesn't take more than, I mean, you prepared took five minutes, this might take five or six because you've got to change music and stuff. So anyway, it's really not that hard. 
Rhythm instruments are a little different. Uh, percussionists have to do drum sets, uh, concert snare, marching snare, and mallets. Uh, keyboardists, guitarists, and bassists have to learn five different selections, some solo, some with backing tracks. And vocalists, again, have to learn four uh, karaoke-style pieces and one a cappella thing. So, it's basically like the prepared stuff, except for we just tell you what to bring. Um, and these are, like I said, not full pieces usually. They're just like passages. So, it's pretty simple. Um, the rubric is six categories with a score of zero to six. So there's a maximum score. If you get all six categories graded six, you're going to get a 36. Um, you need an 18 to pass the initial audition, um, except for vocalist and double reads need 24. So it's a little hard to get those, but everybody else just needs an 18 out of 36. And I'll link the rubric so you can kind of see your instrument and how it, how it plays out. But you're going to be judged on technique and mechanics, musicality, phrasing dynamics, tone, intonation, range, style, articulation, note shapes, time and rhythm, music preparation. All those are just buzzwords, which mean basically, do you know what you're doing as a musician? Any private teacher, any like band teacher, or music educator is going to be aware of those parts of music and we're just quantifying it in a way that we can actually give you a number score based on your performance. Um, what else? There are additional skill and ceremonial portions to the AMPA, but don't worry about those. For the initial audition, we don't really care about the ceremonial music, and we don't care about the additional skills. As you go later in the School of Music and in your career, those will be something that you can think about. Um, but right now, it's great if you can play an extra instrument. Uh, I sign up on tuba, I play tuba all the time, uh, piano all the time. Um, but we just want to see that you have a primary instrument that you can actually play solid, and we can trust you on that. And then later, like we have a trumpet player that plays horn, we have uh, a euphonium player that plays bass. So yeah, we like to use you for multiple things. You just can't really audition on that. Uh, finally, there's a music production technician, which is a little weird. It's not an instrumentalist. It's kind of new because, you know, technology is relatively new. But, yeah, you can do light and sound in the Army. The audition process is a little weird because you have to do it at the School of Music. I can't do it here. And it consists of setting up lights and uh, signals and making sure that fixtures are working well and everything's set up well. Um, there's also a feedback reduction portion where there's monitors and microphones and frequencies that you have to cancel out. And there's also a portion of ensemble mixing where you get tracks and you've got to mix them and fade them and everything to make them sound appropriate to different styles. So anyway, that's just a rough overview of the AMPA audition, which is it's a big topic and each instrument, of course, has its own tips and tricks, and we can talk for hours about, you know, strategies and what to think and how to play. But basically, bring in stuff that you prepare, quickly prepared stuff that we give you, play it, you're done. Now, just a few final notes about the AMPA is that if you don't do so well the first time you come take it, it's okay. We'll give you back some comments, we'll give you back some feedback to figure out how you can practice, spend a couple months working your chops up and, uh, come back. You know, you can do a second one, you can do a third one, you can have as many you want, um, as long as you're making an improvement and don't waste my time. Uh, second of all, the audition lasts for 180 days. So say you audition today, uh, you're kind of busy, you don't know what you're doing, you're trying to make some decisions, this and that's happening, you're trying to wait. You can wait six months before you actually sign up and do any decision making. Uh, actually make a commitment. Uh, the audition is completely commitment-free. Um, you don't actually owe the government any obligation until you go to MEVS and sign a paper and do a swearing-in ceremony. Um, so yeah, you have six months to make that decision. Hey, if it goes after six months, come back. You did it the first time, you can do it again. So keep that in mind if you're trying to schedule something. So if you're interested in trying to do an audition, let me know. There's going to be a link to a contact page. We'll get you set up. 
go talk to your recruiter, we'll get a whole meeting thing put together, and we'll get it figured out. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Other than that, keep watching, keep reading, and we'll get you into the 246 Army Band.